So as we know, we're coming up on, on the holidays, and one of the things that we often think of with the holidays is food, and, and in particular, comfort food, uh, which is actually a topic that myself and some colleagues have, have been able to research. And uh, some of the things that we've found with regard to comfort food that, that we've found to be interesting uh, have to do with the degree to which it's associated with close others. So things like family members, friends, uh, people that we've known a long time, uh, and in fact, we've found that comfort food uh, actually simulates the feelings of social connection with others. So when we feel lonely, uh, consuming comfort food or even thinking about or writing about comfort food can make us feel less lonely. And this is particularly the case uh, for those of us who have strong relationships with others, those that we call um, securely attached. Um, in fact, we ran a research study in a lab where participants uh, told us ahead of time if they considered chicken noodle soup to be a comfort food or not. And, and what we found is when they came into the lab and uh, had the opportunity to either eat chicken noodle soup or not, uh, the people who considered it a comfort food were more likely to complete a list of words that had some blanks in them as uh, words associated with close others. So things like include and welcome and things like that. Uh, so. Uh, what we've tended to find and, and what the results of that research have shown uh, is that just, just the idea of consuming or thinking about or eating comfort food uh, can make us feel as though we're socially connected, activate this idea that we are tied with others. Um, and, and in our mind, this is something that uh, really has a significant social benefit uh, and can fight one of, the, um, one of the more common significant problems that people have, uh, feelings of loneliness.